This is just a sample of the audiobook. To get the complete audiobook access the link posted in the first comment. Exactly perfect. In fact, if her accent had been perfect, it probably wouldn't have been as funny. The bass cast was just wonderful. They were who Mel was looking for, and he was excited to get them. Mel is and was very appreciative of his crew and Jane and myself and what everyone brought to the picture. Dr. Frankenstein, Gene Wilder It all started with Gene Wilder, who was Dr. Frankenstein. He was that guy. Gene intuited all my directions. Sometimes all I needed from Gene was either for him to be softer when he was screaming or louder when he mumbled. But I never had to give him an emotional direction. He understood it perfectly. Nobody can go from A to Z in one scene like Gene Wilder does. In the scene where he goes into the monster's cell, he's so sure of himself. No matter what you hear there, no matter how cruelly I beg you, no matter how terribly I may scream, do not open this door. Do you hear me? Do not open this door. He was so in charge. He was so smart. Then he tiptoes in, and when the monster breaks his chains and growls at him, he goes from this commanding doctor to a frightened pussycat. What a gamut. What a gamut. From surety and perfect command to just a scared kid screaming for his life. Nobody could have done that scene half as well as Gene Wilder. Nobody. His acting, his loungewear, his perfect mustache, his beautiful shiny hair all evoked the style of a 1930s matinee idol. He never cared about looking handsome. He just wanted to be in character. He chose to be in the lab coat for most of the movie and then picked out an old-fashioned salt-and-pepper English jacket with a belt in the back. He knew how Freddie Frankenstein dressed. Gene Wilder on Mel's Direction Mel gives me the most insane things to do, and I carry them out realistically. My job was to make him more subtle. His job was to make me more broad. I would say, I don't want this to be blazing Frankenstein, and he'd answer, I don't want an art film that only 14 people see. Michael Gruskoff on Gene and Mel Mel directing Gene was like Billy Wilder directing Jack Lemmon. Young Frankenstein was the third film they made together, and we all benefited from the shorthand between them. It's sad they never made another film together, but the ones they have made will remain classics. Classic Film Inspiration Colin Clive as Dr. Frankenstein in the James Wales Classics, also known for The Producers, 1968, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, 1971, Blazing Saddles, 1974. Favorite line? No, it's pronounced Frankenstein. The Monster, Peter Boyle. I first saw Peter Boyle in the movie Joe a tough political story in which he played a terrible person. In Young Frankenstein, the monster is scary and miserable, but there is a sweet child in the middle of him. Gene Wilder said, listen, Peter can do both. So he did a few readings, and Gene was absolutely right. Peter was a consummate artist, and the beauty of him came through. His soul shone through. Peter's platform boots extended his six-foot-two height by six inches, and padded clothing added heft. We wanted him big, tall, and monstrous. Once he was in his monster makeup, Peter's complexion was mint green, which photographed beautifully in black and white. At the beginning, it was close to four or five hours to do Peter's makeup, and getting it off was another hour and a half. But he never complained. I wanted the monster to scare the hell out of the audience, and still, in the end, be beautiful and eloquent, and he was. Peter watched Frankenstein, the bride of Frankenstein, the son of Frankenstein, Frankenstein's cousin Vinny. He watched everything. I asked which one he liked the best, and he said the first one. He loved Boris Karloff, moving his head slowly and keeping his eyes in slits. I said, absolutely, right, spot on. Peter Boyle on The Monster the Frankenstein monster I play as a baby. 
He's big and ugly and scary, but he's just been born, remember, and it's been traumatic. And to him, the whole world is a brand new...